kwa majina naitwa Josephine Keno ni mkaaji wa changamu wenye flati kutokea mwaka sabini na saba mpaka leo mimi iko hapa sasa kuna maendeleo ya barabara alikuwa anapita kwa nataka kupita hapa na sisi kama wakaaji hatuwezi kusuhia maendeleo ya barabara labda alikuja nataka kutupatia sisi chingo 1050 tutoke na 1050 nimekaa kwa miaka 40 na tatu kama nimeishi hapa na nyumba natengeneza mimi mwenyewe kila kitu kilipika kwa nyumba ni mimi hakuna siku ambayo municipal litengeneza nyumba hakuna siku ambayo labda salitengeneza nyumba sasa nataka mimi nitoke kwa siling 1050 na tulikataa tulikataa kuchukua silinga 1050 kuna nyumba ambayo wakati liko watu tulikuwa tunakaa tulikuwa tunatakana tuiende kwa nyumba kule tupise barabara sasa dio na wasewa mtaa sana ni njeri ma, macharia hao walikuwa watoto wetu kupeleka kubomoa hakuna barua yoyote ya kubomolewa Hakuna nini hata hao watoto walikuwa wanaweka kwa kwa hatari kwa maana kama wamesikwa hao watoto kama dio atakubali kama litumwa watoto si watoto wetu wataenda kufungwa kwa sababu watoto hawana kazi sasa hao wanatumikia watoto wanatumika kwa watoto mbaya Wana, watoto walienda wakabomwa kule kabisa waribu nyumba Matai Kagwe told Kenyans to stay at home. After telling Kenyans to stay at home, he came and demolished the homes. Matai Kagwe told Kenyans to not go out at night. And after staying at home, their homes were demolished at night. Matai Kagwe told Kenyans not to leave Mombasa or Nairobi and to have no permission to go anywhere else. If you demolish their homes, Where are they supposed to go? If they are to go to the rural home, how can they get there? Matahi Kagwe told us to keep distance, keep social distance. How is that possible? So we want to directly speak to Matahi Kagwe and ask him, address in your daily speeches, address the issue of evictions. And the one in Kariobangi and others are illegal. The people from Changamwe are going to court today to file a case but we also wonder is this an opportunity that the government is using because the courts are slow and are not operating as normal are they using this as an opportunity to to do illegal evictions i think that's very important to answer it seems that some people are hiding behind the mask behind every eviction there's somebody hiding behind the mask and we should ask them who are these people who gave permission to evict people in 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 in, in uh, Utange who is threatening the people here in Changamwe what about Kariobangi who are the people hiding behind these masks those are the questions that we once asked but we want him to address consistently and openly to say no evictions until this pandem- pandemic is over whether legal or illegal the domesticated guidelines for the pandemic did not come from Kenya there is world health organization that gave these guidelines and the principal guideline we are being told that the virus does not move it is human beings that move it we therefore are stating strongly that who has to speak to issues of evictions you would dehumanize human beings if you take away his house in a normal time now we have agreed as a globe and as a world that we have a problem that is facing humanity and may lead us to extinction so if we say that we are fighting coronavirus and then we see moves from the state and people who should respect human rights and protect our lives joining coronavirus to fight us then we don't know what to do we cannot have in the middle of pandemic 10000 households being evicted in Kenya alone we don't know about other countries but then this must be a global concern that all 
issues of evictions must stop. Land is not going anywhere. No, this land, we will leave it here. We found it here. It is not going anywhere. You can resolve these challenges of land after this pandemic. Nata kizikana tuta petition African Commission ule Gambia na vile vile tutaangalia na mawakili wetu itakuwa namna gani hata if possible tuwapeleke ICC. Hii ni atrocity ya hali ya juu na mdhalimu narudia kusema ni serikali ya uhuru Kenyatta. Watu wake wanafanya dhulma kwa watu maskini. Wameshirikiana na mabonyenye wakati huu kuteka advantage ya corona na kuumiza raia